out into the frozen tundra. It was one degree when I woke up this morning. How fun. My first icicle of the season. Snow on the cabin. <laughs> crunch, crunch. We're at Preacher's Grove. Getting right across the street, I spy water. Oh. Preacher's Grove, named after a preacher's convention that camped here in the 1920s, is one of the oldest red pine stands in the park. The trees began to grow after a major fire burned through the area in the 1710s. And there's more stuff to read about, but we're gonna go down there. <laughs> we're holding each other's hands so we can hold each other up. Because there's ice and snow. It's so beautiful. And it's four degrees out. <laughs> and you come to parks when it's like this because nobody else will be here. <laughs> yeah, how cool is that? I love it. Frozen tundra. It's so beautiful. What did it say? Red, the red pines? It is red pines, yeah. And like over here, you can actually see red bark. Yeah, some gorgeousness. Mm -hmm. We've got trails that way. <laughs> and that way. I suppose that could be a preacher's bench. <laughs> it's so frozen in and beautiful. Uh, preacher's bench. The world is good and cold. So we go back up to the tippy top. <laughs> we got shadows. Oh, we became one. Here we are. <laughs> so we're at Peace Pipe Vista. So we may not do this one. It says, caution, long steep stairs not maintained during winter. And they're not too bad, but it's too cold to go that far. I can kind of see the vista through here. So we're not going to get out here, but here's the Pioneer Cemetery, and we could walk down in there. It looks like it's a beautiful view of the lake. Uh, we can see the peaks of the lake all along this drive. It's so fun to live next to the river way down there and see how big it is and to be here with how small it is. We are at the Mississippi River. Oh my gosh. This is not the beginning, but it's close to the beginning. It's tiny. I know, it's so tiny. Look at the sun. Nice. A sunrise shot of a tiny Mississippi River. A mini mighty Mississippi. <laughs> mini mighty. <laughs> That's great. I love it. Mini mighty. Oh, so beautiful. You get perspective with the sun, with the bridge. Let's go the other side. Yes. Shadow. Don't, don't slip. No. It's ice on the road. There's our shadows. Oh, it turns over here. How fun is that? Twisty, turning, windy, mini, mighty river. <laughs> it's 
Cedar Rapids. Let's see if I can make it lighter. There. That is awesome. <laughs> when you feed a river, they grow. <laughs> That's right. Love the morning sun. What a gorgeous day. My car says it's nine degrees outside, but it's sunny. And here we go, Mississippi headwaters. We can park wherever we want. <laughs> so hard to choose. I know, it was so hard to choose. So we the well, we can't park in the handicapped and we didn't. I love the idea that you can follow the Great River Road. We're on it often. So here's where the Mississippi River goes. I find it interesting, I was looking at last night, it actually goes north <laughs> and a little bit east before it starts flowing down, but you can actually go on highways that pretty much follow it through Minnesota and, well, we're going down this side, Iowa, Missouri, and here's Trail of Tears State Park, which is right near Cape Girardeau where we live. And all the way down to the Gulf of Mexico. Let's see what this sign says about the Great River Road. You can always pause and read. There's more sites and things. See how it goes north first? <laughs> And then east and up before it starts turning down. How cool is that? I think you can find these maps online. Because I was looking. As I said, pause and read. It's too cold for me to do that. And there's the Great Mississippi River Road going down. And another sign. My fingers are getting cold. I'm gonna have to get my gloves on. I'm gonna guess this says from the Mississippi River we can reach the world, which is so true. The river's journey. This is hard to read, it's a little frozen. But apparently, headwaters is in 800 feet, so here we go. Check out this diorama. How cool is that? So we're way up here. And you can see how it goes north before it starts traveling south. And um, what's that river over there? Okay, it says Minnesota River and the St. Croix River from Lake Superior. See, here's Lake Superior. They dump into it, and that's probably when it starts getting bigger. And now we're out of Minnesota into the Quad States. <laughs> oh, there's St. Louis. Des Moines River. We're in Missouri, oh, and the Missouri River dumping into it. And the Des Moines River and the Illinois River. There's the confluence of the Mississippi and Missouri Rivers. We're familiar with that. There's St. Genevieve. Oh, look, there's our city. And then this is the Ohio River and Cairo. We've been there where it comes together. New Madrid, now we're in Tennessee, and my fingers are getting cold. <laughs> Arkansas, Mississippi. I know, I'm going south. My fingers should be getting warmer. All the way to the Gulf of Mexico.
That's gnarly. <laughs> and there's all these interpretive things around that you can read. 100 more feet. This is exciting. How fun. There's steps down to it if you want to put your feet in it. <laughs> Not today. I don't know. I, a toe? <laughs> just one. Now it's 450 feet. We can make it. In search of the Mississippi source. can read it. Almost there. It says caution, slippery rock. I see it, I see it. Here's where it begins. <laughs> the beginning of the Mississippi River. In the frozen tundra. That's a placard. Yeah. I'll go to the placard in a minute. We're here in the morning, so the sun is pretty amazing. I think I'm going to go across the rock today. I don't know. I'm going to go across the rock. Amazingness. Ooh, I can give it a shot. Mm. Look, you see where it trails into the, in the lake where it's moving? Yeah. That's pretty neat. Nice. The ocean in Mighty Mississippi begins to flow on its winding way 2,552 miles to the Gulf of Mexico. 1,475 feet above the ocean, and then it drops to sea level. Goes 2,552 2, miles. Yeah. Oh, it's cool. <laughs> Can we do it? I said we won't know till we try. There's looks like two ways across, but those over there are icy and these are not. So here goes nothing. Teamwork, we're holding each other's hands. Old people don't balance very well. Look at my feet. Look at me. <laughs> oh. Frozen tundra feet. And there it goes. I care that my fingers are cold as I film. Wow. <laughs> Yay! Look at us. <laughs> Sixty. Yeah. <laughs> we did it. <laughs> oh, so fun. Uh, we're gonna walk around right across it this way. So this actually is ice.
wonder how safe it is. Let's hold each other's hand and try it. Yay, I'm standing in the middle of the Mississippi River where it begins again. If you walk along the river, we'll get to the house. We will, we will. <laughs> Don't know where this goes and it's icy, but it follows the Mississippi. <laughs> I think we'll be okay. It's a boardwalk. I bet you this is cool when it's not snow covered. And here it is, we're crossing it again. It's a little bit wider. The crossing of the Mississippi. Wow. <laughs> it almost looks like a beaver dam. It does. You can take a trail that way, or you can go this way. Back to the parking lot. How disappointing. We were going to drive around the 10 miles and they have it closed. That says Itasca Sports. You can rent kayaks here. There's a ton. Ooh, this is pure ice. There's a ton of bike trails around here and uh, lots of other fun things to do. Lake Itasca. So this water will all, when it's not frozen, eventually flow that way. Oh, there was a fun kind of sounding bird to start the Mississippi River. It's crazy, I see the moon. This is gorgeous. Mm -hmm. Let's play ice capades. <laughs> Playing with the sun in my camera. Just hard, shiny water. Right near Little Falls, Minnesota, and we are again crossing the Mississippi River, which is somewhat ice laden. And look how big it is already! And it's bigger already. <laughs> it's huge! It is huge. You see the ice? It's not as big as that cape, but it's still pretty big. It is much, much wider. It has been eating tributaries along the way. <laughs> so there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs>